So I'm really happy to show this to you. And this is, this is sometimes when you start talking about something and you get a little nudge from um, Airbnb and then you actually see it being put into practice. This actually makes me feel happy because we've been warning our Boostly community for a while now that this is going to be happening. And this is a chance for you now to take advantage of it, um, which will help you get more visibility on, on the platform. So we're talking about Wi-Fi. We're talking about a new filter that is coming in um, to the Airbnb search algorithm very, very, very soon. And it's around a new trend that is really taken off with everything that happened in 2020 and beyond. So we're talking about Wi-Fi speeds. Now, you will remember in a um, podcast that we did, and I'm trying to think of when it was, it was at least a month ago, if not two, three months ago, um, you'll, say, you'll have noticed that I did a video where I noticed that in the back end of Airbnb, in the amenities section, you could um, add in your Wi-Fi speeds. Now, this is um, nothing more than just Airbnb seeing it. They weren't showing it anywhere. It wasn't part of a search algorithm or a filter or anything like that. And it was very much going off what you said. And it was interesting to see what Airbnb were going to do next. Brian Chesky of um, Airbnb, CEO, said that they were looking at adding it in as a search because it's what people wanted. It's what the guests are wanting. So let me just share my screen. It's taken a step further now. So now you can actually verify your internet speed. Now, if you are listening to this on the audio version, if you're on currently an iPhone or an Android or Spotify or wherever, jump over to the YouTube channel. Um, basically look for the title, how to verify your internet speed with Airbnb. And you'll be able to see this, this blog here. And I'm just going to walk you through it. So basically now, guests are looking for a place to stay that they are not only comfortable, but totally connected. That's why you need to verify your internet connection and Wi-Fi speeds in order for it to be searchable in your listing. The internet speed test measures your connecting download speed. That's how fast the information can transfer to it. Nothing talking about upload, which is important. So download speed only. Okay. So how to test your Wi-Fi using your app. So open up your app, go to hosting, listings, about amenities, popular, edit, Wi-Fi, add your Wi-Fi speed, then run the Wi-Fi test and save. Okay. So that's really important. Um, if you want to scroll down, you can find out more about what they're using to test this with, if you want to get geeked out on it like I did. But here's the cool thing. So understanding your speeds, okay? Now, if you've got zero megabytes, you I wouldn't even talk about your Wi-Fi. I would go the other opposite way and I would go, we are anti-Wi-Fi. You come here to escape. I would be a total separate avatar if you've got zero megabyte speed internet. I, your avatar would be get away, relax, no phone, no stress, that type of it. If you've got one to six, your Wi-Fi is slow. To be perfectly honest, if you've got one to six Wi-Fi, I would really look at investing in something like Starlink that is coming later this year. Uh, this is obviously part of Elon Musk's uh, big, big plans to put satellites up into the planet. I don't know why I looked up there, but um, up above the planet, um, it will give you uh, at least 80 to 100 megabyte speed, maybe even faster. Um, I used to live obviously in a very rural location. We suffered with this massively. Uh, and we, we ended up working with a satellite company to fix this and it made it better. It wasn't perfect, but it was better. And this will just make it even more better. Ruh, ruh, ruh. Uh, so one, six, slow, seven to 13, which is getting a lot more commoner now. Um, so it's snappy, snappy, nothing amazing, snappy. Anything more than 10 megabyte speeds, you can watch the football, Netflix, you know, maybe you um, can watch Netflix all right, but if you and the whole family jump on it, it may get a little snappy. Uh, now here's we're talking. This is where you want to be. 14 to 49 megabytes, easily achievable now with fiber and all those lovely stuff. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. Your Wi-Fi is fast. Now, this is the one, 50 megabyte plus. I currently, where I am now, um, in the place where I am in Spain, I'm currently sitting at 100, 200 megabyte speed. That is super fast. Airbnb class super fast, lightning fast as 50 megabyte plus. So what's going to happen in the search results of Airbnb, so if we're just sort of looking here, um, airbnb.com on the actual listings and on the actual search, get away, get out of here. So when we actually come into the search here and somebody uh, searches for a property, when they're looking at the filters, what you're going to notice is that there will be a Wi-Fi filter on here and it will be snappy, slow or super fast. And 
if you have got any Wi-Fi now, this is basically what Airbnb is saying. If you've got Wi-Fi that's 50 megabyte plus and you can go into your property and you can test it, fantastic. Now, um, there may be some of you that aren't able to get to your property. You can just give you know somebody access to your uh, hosting account and you can go and test it. They can edit it. Great. Give them co-hosting for the day or whatever you want to do to, to do that. If you can get to your property, it's fantastic. This is something I would definitely start to do now. Now, one another thing that I've noticed is that this isn't available for everybody just yet. This feature isn't available, isn't available in some countries and regions. So just go and test it, see where you are in the world, and let me know in the comments if you can amend this. So let me know in the comments if you can uh, amend this setting. Please do let me know. I've had people at the Boostly Academy, people of my coaching community testing this, and we've got different reports from all over the world. Now, if you want to be part of the Boostly Academy, if you want to find out about this news first, um, then make sure you go to boostlyacademy.com. Go and check it out. Come and join the team. Come and join Team Boostly where you hear about all this information first so you can be ahead of the crowd. But this is interesting. Um, very, very, uh, very interesting to see how Airbnb is going. This is obviously a reflection on their user base and what they are asking for. So it's all about your guest profile, guest avatar. Um, really, really interesting stuff. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this and where you sit on the internet speed spectrum. All right, I'll be back tomorrow, as always, with a daily podcast. Until then, stay proactive. Don't be reactive. Go get Wi-Fi up, and I'll speak to you soon. Having a blast, gonna get it on the Boostly podcast. Boostly like Bruce Lee, because it's so hard and the tea is loose leaf. Making up those rhymes, don't write it, just do it loosely.